Hey guys, how's it going? Lord Odo here. And as you can see behind me, we have Nocturnus. And this video signifies the last of the Legacy Boss Strategies videos. Which is great, because I did this is taking a little while for these videos. And I'm still going to do a strategies video for the boss of the Tower of Nod, regardless of how easy he will be. But this is Nocturnus. The guy who's well, this isn't level 99 form. He's level 99. I am ready for the fight. My characters are leveled. You guys will be able to look forward to that video soon. But in the meantime, let's cover his info now, so you will know what I'll be up against. Nocturnus is a secret boss. While most of the legacy bosses up to this point have been in the game, um, uh, how do you put it? Um, like they've either been mid bosses in the game, like Baramos and Murda, or they've been final bosses. Nocturnus is the only case where he is a hidden boss in Dragon Quest VI upcoming. There's no spoilers. When it comes to Dragon Quest games, we already know the final bosses. So, he starts out with 8,250 HP. Obviously part of the Mystery Family. His weakness is Life Force. So, you'll be fighting him with the Power of Light. He gets enraged by anybody who uses Zing and Kazing, and we're going to go ahead and start the fight. <clears throat> the only disappointing thing about Nocturnus is that he shares the same battle theme as Mortimer. Anyways, he starts out with Buff, Oomph, Lullaby, Kafrizzle, Cold Breath, Blazing Fire, Falcon Slash, and attacks twice per round. At level 5, he learns Thin Air. At level 10, he learns everybody's favorite Disruptive Wave. <coughs> At level 16, he learns Hellfire and stops using Blazing Fire. At level 28, he learns Hatchet Man. At level 41, he learns no new abilities, but gains his third attack per round. And at level 57, he gains the uh, Magic Burst ability and the ability to gain back all his MP. Now, what I noticed that he does, and then I'll let you know that um, his Magic Burst is coming in the later levels, is he will use Oomph beforehand, and then do his typical... Look at me, I'm Nocturnus, I'm going to do 600 damage to everybody, and then do a breath attack, and you're game over. But yeah, so, that's all his stuff. And he hits hard. I don't tell you that much. Even his Kafrizzle. Matter of fact, his, his, besides his Magic Burger, his Kafrizzle ends up being one of his most damaging spells. Alright, so, I suppose I can go ahead and get to his drops, since he's about to drop. Oh, he juked me. Oh, no. I hate Loma. I'm just supposed to go over his drops when I kill him. If he hits you with that and you actually counter it, <clears throat> you do hit him twice, just so you know. Well done. Come on, you speedo wearing guy, go down. There we go. <coughs> okay. So, Nocturnus pretty much drops the Aleph Guard set. The, the, like, the weaker and more old school version of Erdrick set, aka the hero of uh, Dragon Quest 1, Corona. <coughs> um,. Levels 1 through 15, he'll drop the trousers. Levels 16 through 40, he'll drop the boots. 
levels 41 through 56, for whatever reason, he'll drop the Zenithian Helm. 57 through 80, the armor of the Olive Guard. And 81 through 99, the Helm. Now, while I, like I said in the previous video with, um, uh, Organomir, that Organomir takes the highest, you actually get the Olive Guard Helm from another Legacy boss at an earlier level, so, yeah. But, um, and, and of course, like I said, I mentioned earlier, uh, you can get the gloves of Alfgard if you miss them from someone else from Rapthorn. Alright, so, that wraps up the Legacy Boss Strategies videos. I hope, you've got a, I hope you guys have enjoyed them, and I really hope they've helped you out when you've needed info on a certain Legacy Boss, be, uh, what moves they know, what items they drop, um... Oh, I did want to cover, okay, since I didn't specify the orb, Nocturnus actually drops every single orb um, at a sort of increasing percents. If you want to take a look at what he drops, when he drops, um, check below the info, just like everything else. I wouldn't suggest to, or to use Nocturnus as the person you want to farm orbs from. He's kind of just like a backup plan, or like you fight him a lot, and then you just keep on getting random orbs, and you're like, oh, okay, that's helpful but I wouldn't use him to find perform orbs. Another thing I wanted to add, too, his extra, um, info is, says, a uh, brutal bad dream demon from another dimension, so strong that he makes Mortimer seem like Snortimer. <coughs> that's, that's so goofy, it's awesome. Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, I'm sick Lord Odo, and... I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. The next strategy video that comes will probably when I eventually get to the boss of the Tower of Nod. Which I do have, I'm just waiting to get to. But, uh, you know, I hope you, I hope these videos have really helped out. So, take, uh, take it easy guys, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.